Alex here. Welcome to episode 20 of my Inferno Mines developer commentary. Alright, on today's episode, we're going to go over there and attack Dinner Bunny the Destroyer. And it looks like I might be doing the head monument in reverse order. But first, we have to get down from here. And I think with my feather falling, I might as well just kind of walk off and do that. Okay, next next problem. Getting from here over to there without exploding and, and dying and all that horribleness. Uh, should just be a happy little jaunt across the lava filled... Whoa, hold on a sec. What in the world? Okay, I'm back. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not really sure what that was. I don't know if it was loud enough for it to be picked up by my microphone. Um, because my microphone does a pretty good job of canceling out background noise. Uh, it, it sounded like... I think maybe Basil uh, was bothering Saffron, and one or the other started uh, making cat noises that translate somewhat to screw off and leave me alone, I'm not in the mood. Uh, it almost sounded like a screeching, but not really, not as loud. It could have been, maybe it was Basil, I don't know. Uh, Basil is my adopted cat. Found him in a parking lot. Nobody wanted him, so I'm stuck with him. So I adopted him. And he's, there's a boomer spawner uh, right over there. Might as well go ahead and eat one of these. There we go. Uh, where'd it, there it is. Um, and so, he's still new, and the, I guess the, my cats are still establishing a, uh, a pecking order. Uh, I looked online and it said that it's natural, and for the most part, you're uh, not really supposed to break up the cats. You're supposed to just let them wrestle and and whine and fight and see establish who's dominant. Uh, so say, well, as long as they're not making lots of noise. Uh, but I heard I heard cat noises, so I decided to break them up. I went outside my room and I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Anyway, uh, but Basil and Sage uh, wrestle a lot, but they, it's friendly and they're not you know hissing or scratching each other. Uh, they're just playing. Uh, Saffron's still not as sure about Basil yet. She's still kind of, you know, yeah, I don't know if this new cat should be part of the family or not. Uh, so she's taking longer to come around. Okay, we're finally over here. We made it across the country without too much trouble. Are you aggressive to me? No, you're not. Uh, let's get out. Maybe this sword. And it doesn't have fire on it, right? I hypothesize that when Endermen get lit on fire, it messes with their aggressiveness towards the player. Um, come on, die. Oh, you did. Okay, good. I want my pearls back, please. Uh, so this is a great place to come and farm ender pearls if you, you know, want them. And you can also make a an ender enderer. And I aggroed one, though. Oh, he's over here. I see him. Got him. Noisy little guys. I might want to turn the sound down. Yeah, maybe I'll turn the sound down a little bit. Okay. Up to ten ender pearls. Yeah. So I can come here and pretty easily farm ender pearls whenever I want them. Um. But what I'm really looking for is Dinner Bunny. Uh, this map features a hunter monument. Uh, using kind of the principle from Black Desert, although I didn't do the exact same in Black Desert. Uh, it's that it's a bonus goal. Well, Kaiser Caverns had a bonus monument. Like, every now and then I do a bonus monument. And Kaiser Caverns, it was grass. You had to get grass to grow all the way back to the Victory Monument. I didn't think that many people would do it. You'd have to be totally methodical, OCD, uh, Minecraft crazy person to do do that monument. So naturally, Zisto did it. <clears throat> uh, I personally, I don't, I don't think I'd have the patience to grow grass across the map, but... Uh, I put it there for people who just want to totally dominate the map. Uh, this one is... Oh, there's one right there. Hey, Dinner Bunny. Okay. Uh, okay, I got him. Hold on a sec. Let me deal with this Enderman. He's right here. Come on, where are your feet at? There are your feet. Your feet? Uh, I guess he broke off, and I think that Skelly's on me right now. Alright. So, step one, we land the Exodar. Step two, we defeat Legion and go home. There's only one thing missing. Now, uh... Okay, now I can easily fight Enderman. And... Where'd the Dinner Bunny go? He was right up there. I saw him. Come on. Uh, I have all the pearls I'll ever want. Mm. Dinner Bunny. Come on. Dinner Bunny. Dinner Bunny. Come on, I have a carrot for you. Nice juicy carrot. Dinner Bunny. Okay, so there's my ender shelter if I get swarmed by ender bobs. Uh, does nothing to fight. Help me fight skeletons, though. But I don't really need much help versus skeletons. Okay, uh, morning lord. Dinner bunny appears to be... There's one. Come here. Did I grow him? Alright. Come on. Yes, come on. Alright, back to a wall. And smack! Oh, damn it. Come on. Got him. He's not too tough. Uh, you don't need to really do much uh, anything special to beat him. Just get yourself a good smite sword and some decent armor, and uh, smack the crap out of them. 
Uh, I will try to pick up some of this stuff. Um, let's see. Where, where's the head? The head is actually what I want. Damn it. Uh, torches. Chest bone, leg bone, feet bone. I honestly don't really need the armor, although it does look pretty cool. There's Dinner Bunny's carrot. Sharpness, knockback, fire aspect. Okay. Uh, there's a head of it, and apparently I got a wither skull. Skull. Like a natural drop. Head of Dinner Bone the Destroyer. What will he give me next? Dinner Bone is awesome. Uh, I'm really happy he works at Mojang, because he has a history of doing what people in the... Uh, implementing things at uh, for the benefit of people in the community. Uh, myself included, and, and he's done stuff for other people, I think. Uh... Actually, I mean, overall, I'm just I'm really happy that uh, Jeb and Dinnerbone are at Mojang. I think they're they're taking Minecraft in a good direction. Uh, honestly, my only real my only real complaint with Minecraft recently has been that I think grinding uh, for resources isn't really mentally stimulating. Uh, but that's not Dinnerbone's fault or Jeb's fault. I mean, that was Minecraft has always been really grindy. Uh, you know, you go down, you do a branch mine, you just dig at stone forever until you have enough iron or diamond to do whatever it is you wanted to do. Uh, I mean, that's been like that since you know the very beginning. Uh, that's the one thing I'm hoping to get with Feed the Beast, is to make more automated systems of various kinds, and to make acquiring resources just more fun and more mentally involved, uh, and not as rote and tedious. Uh, is this two-hit creepers? Oh, it does. It's nice. So the exit to this area is back over Meow. And I guess I'll head home. We're out of, uh, we're out of the fire resistance, so I have to just watch out and not, not land in lava. I need to head back over to, you know, I could just really end a pearl. Alright, that's, that's good. Okay. And there we go. And back out. And now, I think next objective ought to be go, to go get the other heads for the head monument, and probably go grab some iron out of lush ruins before we continue with the rest of the map. I think that would be prudent. Let's see, there's a chest here. Do I want to take back anything? Eh, I can always come back, I suppose. Time to head home. Ah, uh, home sweet hubble. We're back. And... Uh, I'm not sure. I thought maybe I could do a project here at the monument and decorate it like Amblip and Zista did. I think I'm going to skip that just to save on time, because when I get done with this series, I'm going to start on Feed the Beast on Minecraft, the Minecraft server. And I don't know. I'm kind of looking... I'm really looking forward to Feed the Beast, and I'm kind of getting a little burned out on vanilla Minecraft. Uh, even even playing my own maps like this, I'm just like, ah, I want to go do something with a bunch of new stuff. Uh, but let's see here. Um, Dinnerbone the Destroyer is right here. And I think what I can do... Can I put the thing here? No, I'd have to... Well, first off, let's just put that there. Alright, there we go. There's the head. And I'll just leave this here. Okay, so we've got dinner bone here. And I set this hunter monument up so that it's the contrasting color for each head. Uh, zombie head is green. And red is green's complement. So it, it contrasts nicely with the background. Uh, this is a skeleton head here. And skeleton heads are white. And it contrasts nicely with the black obsidian. And then... Although, I think technically obsidian might be a very, 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 very dark purple. But whatever. Uh, and then... Here's the uh, wither skeleton head, and that contrasts nicely with the quartz. So, I think that was a nice little detail here. And it makes it look nice when it's all filled in. Because uh, originally, I think I had this all one color, and I think it was all quartz. And I was like, the skeleton head looks looks bad on this. And I was like, wait a minute, I have enough colors here to do the contrast of, of each. Uh, so, I think that's going to look great when I finish it. Alrighty. Um... Oh, oh, the blue wool. The blue wool. Yes, let's put that on the monument. I'm such a derp today. I'm just, I'm sorry about that. I'm just kind of preoccupied and worried about my cats. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to call this an episode here, just so I can go check on them and make sure they're okay. Uh, make sure one of them didn't claw the other. And, uh, Basil and Sage are getting along just fine. Uh, Saffron is an older cat, and I don't think she's got, she, she just doesn't want to play at all with anyone anymore. Uh, she just kind of wants to be left alone. And Basil is amazingly playful and rambunctious, and I think he's just, hasn't, doesn't, you know, get the hint yet that Saffron doesn't want to play. And so I'm going to go check on them. And thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, take it easy.